Queen of Hoxton and we've just seen an amazing solo artist play with his band. He was going to have to tell me more about this because I don't know. What's what's going on? I'm a solo artist called King Jacks. Okay. Uh, and band around me, uh, the, the Jackets. My Jack real name's Rich. You can call me Rich if you want. Okay. Are you Rich? Not at all. Not yet. Not yet. So how's it going on your path to uh It's going well. It's going really well. I've put my single out on April the 18th, mm -hmm. uh, which is Heroes. Uh, it's a double A side with I'm Not The One, which is the first two tracks. And uh, it's been quite well received, I think. Being solo, playing with the band, how do you find that? It's good. Um, it's more business-like when you get to rehearsal. There's less fucking about. So it's like when you're in a band, which I was, which is where I've taken the name King Jacks from. King Jacks was a five-piece two years ago, and I uh, kind of split with the band and took the name. So when I was in a band, rehearsals were fun and lots of chatting and talking and drinking and all whatever. And now it's like down to business when we get Not to feel it. lonely? It can be. It, I know that's a kind of, that's a funny thing to say, but you're right. It can feel, it doesn't feel that lonely on stage, but the creative process feels a little bit lonely because you're kind of all doing a job. Whereas when you're in a band, it's just fun. Man. It's still fun, but they kind of come to rehearsals, learn their shit and then go. So where'd you get the inspiration for the song Heroes? Heroes is actually funny. The video is about kind of football hooliganism and stuff like that, but the, the actual tune is about uh, how people look upon artists in general. And we're the heroes because we are the free ones and do what we want to do. And they're the ones that look on uh, in their groups and their packs uh, in envy. And Danny Dyer was in the video. He was. You talk about that. How did you how did you tie him into that? How how was that? It was simple, really. I just sent him. The, I sent the treatment off to uh, his agent and his publicist, and, and they uh, kind of passed it on to him. And once it got to him, then it was it was all done and dusted because he wanted to be involved and like the treatment. And uh, we went from there. He brought all his friends down on the day, so the actors in his crew that you see on the video are actually his pals. So you manage quite a lot of the stuff yourself. Yeah, I'm completely unmanaged and without label and without publisher, so I just kind of like to take the reins by myself. It can get difficult at times when you're spending a day like an office person, but at the same time you have a lot of artistic control in what you do. So I really like the one... Um I'm just a one night stand, I'm not the one. I'm just a one night stand, I'm not the one. I've never had a one night stand, so I wouldn't actually know what it was completely about. Yeah, no, but I don't understand. It was, it's just a kind of, sometimes you write stories, and that was a comical lyric about a lot of the girls you meet, they just often complain to you about never being able to find a man, are the ones that are often putting it on a plate. Really? You get that a lot? I don't get that much, no. Not I've yet. got a girlfriend, but like, you just see a lot of girls that are just wondering why they can't get a long term man, and it's because they've got their arse out. Little tiny skirts, or Not like, like that. a bit smaller than that. <laughs> yeah, zoomed out. Like I'm actually wearing a very long skirt. That's sort of more of a medieval <laughs> gown. What would you have stuck on repeat if you had to have any song stuck on repeat on Desert Island? You're only allowed to take one song with you. Yeah. What would it be? Uh, Lover, you should have come over, Jeff Butley. Okay. Track seven on Grace. Looking out the door, I see the rain fall upon the funeral. So how are you going to keep yourself centred? Say it's all going to go kicking off when you release your EP and all these girls are going to be coming at you with their asses out yeah. and you're going to be asked to play Glastonbury and you're going to be headlining. How are you going to keep yourself centred? And David Bowie wants you on his track list as well. Oh my God. Well, this I, is amazing stuff. I think that you're going to say put your arse away. That's the first thing. Uh, and then get rid of those. Concentrate on the live set, make sure it's amazing because that's a lifelong ambition. And then and be as nice as pie to David Bowie. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And what would be your perfect lineup? Uh, um, meaning. Meaning so you are curating your own um, festival. festival, and you're going to have the perfect lineup. Would you be headlining? Who would you have with you? What would uh, be happening there? And which festival would it be? If I was curating In my own festival, which I, wouldn't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't headline. Uh, it'd probably be somewhere hot like Brazil. Argentina and it would or India and it would be Frank Sinatra would be on the bill Stones the Beatles Jimi Hendrix Eric Captain Clean I'm not I'm not getting anyone oh recent Michael Jackson bit of Kanye West this is King Jacks uh, on the Oh Deary Me blog all the best I'm just a one night stand. 